Dear friends, if you want to install Windows 10 in a MacBook Pro and you want to use an external SSD or external hard drive for installing that, here is the solution. So the basic requirements are you need to have at least 120 or 256 GB external SSD hard disk, Windows 10 ISO image, Win2 USB software, VMware Fusion trial version. So I have included all the links in the description bar. You can download all the software from the link. So for downloading the Microsoft ISO image, you need to copy the first link which I have added in the description bar. Copy the link and you can paste here, click enter. Then you can go down, then select the edition of the Windows, Windows 10. Click confirm. Then choose the language English and confirm. Download 64 bit and click allow. Then it will download. It's around 5.27 GB. It will take time to download, depends upon your internet speed. Then open the second link, which is for the VMware Fusion trial download. Copy the link and paste in the Safari browser. Enter. You can see download VMware Fusion 11.5. Click download now. Click allow. Then it will download that software too. Then you need to copy the third link, which is for downloading Win to USB software. Copy the link and paste here. Click download. Click allow. So it will take some time. After the download, you need to go to utilities, then open Bootcamp Assistant. You don't need to configure bootcamp, but you need to click here, action, download Windows support software. And you need to select a location. Suppose I'm selecting desktop. And uh, save Windows support software. It will take some time, depends upon your internet speed. While downloading, it will ask you the admin password, give admin password. So the software has been successfully saved in the location which we selected. Click it. Then open the folder which you have downloaded the softwares and install VMware Fusion. So double click to install. So it will show VMware Fusion is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Just click open. Give administrator password. Click agree. It is showing system extension blocked, open security preferences. And click on this lock symbol. Give administrator password. Click allow. Then close this wizard. And you can click this. I want to try VMware Fusion for 30 days. Then click continue. Click this try VMware Fusion 11 professional. Click continue. Give administrator password. Click done. Click OK here. Click OK here. Open security preferences again. Click on this lock symbol, 
give administrator password again. Select this VMware Fusion and click close. Here you need to select install from disk or image. Click continue and uh, open the software and drag this Windows 10 bootable ISO file here. Then click continue here. Here you need to select choose your Windows version. Select Windows 10 Home and click continue. It will ask most versions of Windows require a product key in order to be activated. So click continue without a key. Choose a level of integration. Click more isolated. Click continue here. Then it will show the existing virtual machine settings. If you want to customize, you can customize here. So I'm giving 2 GB only and capacity 60 GB for the hard disk. So click finish. So it will ask you to save the location. Click save here. So if you are getting this error message, then go to the system preferences and go to security and privacy and you need to check this app store and identified developers are allowed. So click close and click OK here then click quit VMware Fusion and open it again. Then click this play button. So it's booted from the ISO image. So it started installing Windows. It will take some time. So the windows has been successfully installed. After the installation, just open the folder which you downloaded the softwares. Just drag this win to USB here. So it copied here. So we need to connect the SSD hard disk. I have connected the hard disk here. Then go to the utilities and click on disk utility. And right click on this hard disk and click erase and give a name bootcamp and select the file system as MS DOS VAT. Click erase, click don't use, click done and click close this wizard and close this. And you need to select this virtual machine and select this USB and Bluetooth and click connect bootcam. So it's connected here. Then again go to the virtual machine and go to the CD and DVD SATA and choose disk or disk image. and select the softwares which we downloaded select this windows 10 image click open then go to this virtual machine and click on the cd dvd connect cd dvd so it's added here in the windows machine and uh, then go to this win to usb software 
Click yes. Click OK. Click I accept. Click next. Click next here. Next again. Again click next. Click install. Click finish. So you need to drag this Windows support software here. Open this Win to USB shortcut. Click yes. Click OK here. And select this CD-ROM to USB. And select the CD. And select Win 10 Home as the operating system. Click next. Select the destination disk. It will be our hard disk. And select this GPT for UEFI. Click yes. So here you don't need to change anything. Just click next. So it will start installing Windows to the external SSD hard disk. So it will take around 15 to 20 minutes. You need to wait until it finished. So it installed successfully. Click exit here. Click yes here. Then you need to open Windows Explorer. You can see here our hard disk is renamed as Win to USB. Click here. Then drag this Windows support software here. And uh, shut down this virtual machine. Click shut down. Close this VMware Fusion. Click don't use. You need to restart your computer and boot from the USB. So if you are using a new MacBook Pro, then you need to click this allow booting from external media from the repair utility. So in my case, it's an old MacBook Pro. There is no option for secure boot. So I'll restart my computer. Then press Command R in the keyboard to enter into the repair utility. Here, you need to close this wizard. Then it will ask you to choose startup disk. Click choose startup disk. Then it will show you Mac OS and Win to USB Windows. Select Win to USB Windows and click restart. Then it will start booting from the external SSD. Select your country. Click yes. Click yes for default keyboard. Skip. So here the wireless connections are not showing because the driver we need to install the driver so skip for now here you need to click continue with limited setup click accept give a username give a password if you want you can skip the password click accept click yes accept so it entered into the windows next you need to install the drivers go to the file explorer and open this pc and go to c drive here we already copied the windows support software double click on here and click on this bootcamp and click setup click yes Click next, I accept, install. So click finish here. Then it will ask you to restart your computer.
so if you're going to the explorer and right click on my pc and click properties and device manager you can see all the drivers have been installed successfully that's all for today thank you for watching my video please do subscribe for more interesting videos